Hello and welcome to our playthrough of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay, no, why this is not doing, the game. Why are you doing Okay, here's the actual game. Hey, who, welcome back. You might want to put this down a bit. <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome back to Kirby's Star Allies. Sorry for that odd ending last part. It's just that, unfortunately, our recording had to mess up. But we're back. And we didn't even get our dream friends. Okay, this is going to be a bad level already. Because, yikes. Uh, you know what? Let's go after our dream friends. <laughs> Pause the video. We'll be back. <laughs> Alright, it's time for a new character reveal. Gooey! No, I'm kidding. Ah, uh, transit. It's... I haven't played as Terenza either. <laughs> the laws of physics don't exist in this world. This is an abomination. You didn't even stop it. <laughs> okay, we got our teammates back. I'm sorry about that. It's just that, unfortunately, the level we're about to go to, the bot, they, they don't give you good, good, um, good character, good enemies to use, unfortunately. So what joke do we make with Taranza? Uh, Taranza is, uh, uh, isn't your girlfriend dead? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's a joke from, um, from that Sonic, Sonic thing with, um, yeah, the takeover. I was playing Smash earlier, I forgot that A is a joke. We have to show this off, because the last video, you know, cut, we, we cut that out. <laughs> okay, now we have to race this guy, and last time we beat this guy in the original recording, it's just that... It was pretty bad, to be honest. <laughs> like, we got him, like, right over here. Get it over here, Johnny. And here, you get the big puzzle piece and Mike Kirby, but honestly, Mike isn't really worth it for this. So, we're not taking it. And no, Mike Kirby... In this game does not give you an enemy you can play as Mike, just like Chef Kawasaki. Oh yeah, that's right. Why are you pressing A? Just speed through this. Oh. Oh yeah, Taranza has broken moves too. He can summon um Queen Sectonia. Oh yeah, the Kirby Twitter when post when um, when they were showing off the characters made a really bad move. Where um uh, who do I want to play as, to be honest? Well, definitely not Parasol because someone decided to get rid of No, I'm not playing as Never mind, he's here. Well, actually, Parasol... No, I... Wow, really? So, it's confirmed then. Waddle Dees do not give... Parasol Dees do not give you the, um, the ability themselves that Parasol does, confirmed. Or maybe that's just in this game. But yeah, the only reason why I'm getting this ability... Is because that. Uh, actually, no. Uh, Jeremy hit him. Or I guess not, whatever. The only reason why I'm getting this ability is because. Hey. Is because, um, this might help during the boss fight, ironically. Considering, you know. Alright. What do you mean his, his girlfriend's dead? She was right there. <laughs> oh, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fracko is back because you know Cy Cycloptic. I'm looking at you, recording device. Even a far-flung reaches of space, as long as there's a sky, Kirby's longtime nemesis Cracko can show up and cast a shadow over it. But out here, something's different. Stay on your guard, Star Allies. Yeah, Cracko is not really that hard of a boss, to be honest. And even without the um, even without the uh, the weakness, we're we're still good. We're still good at the game. So, Cracko is easy as he ever was. Now I'm probably just gonna be damage control in this next phase. Spoiler alert: Cracko isn't done. He has a second phase, and he really, really is a pretty bad boss. Twin Cracko, the dual thunder clouds. Two eyes glare in the gloom, 
like an angry face in the sky. This isn't what Krakow's like on Popstar. Twice as fluffy and twice as mean, twin Krakow's combo attacks are brutal. But they are no match for the power of friendship. Now the problem with twin Krakow is that he is pretty mean. Like that. <laughs> but however... Oh, here you guys go. Parasol Kirby can just break this boss, and thank you, Taranza, for summoning Queen Sectonia. I never thought I'd be saying that. But just, wow, this boss fight is really easy with Parasol, and I never thought I'd be saying that. Is Krakow somewhat related, relatable to a bottle dudes? I mean, they both have the same eye. Huh. <clears throat> but anyways, the point is that with Paracel Kirby, this is pretty easy. It's just without... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, you're just seeing it? <laughs> it makes sense in video, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, Crack Twin Krakow is a really hard boss fight without Paracel, though. Anyways, now that we're done with that, we only have one normal world left in the game. I'm not even joking. Okay. Well, peace, Ken. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, no. How, how many minutes are we at, <laughs> actually? Like eight minutes. Eight minutes? Okay, yeah, because we were fumbling a lot. Anyways, we're heading off the Star Lava Dome. The um, Lava Dome? Lava Dome. Not, not Dome. You can Star Lava Dome. Without the E. Also, the soundtrack is uh, beautiful, uh, but it's curvy. What do you expect? Hold up. No. Yes. Alright, sorry for that interruption. Anyways, these anyways we're almost done with this with this game, and that's kinda crazy. But to be fair, unfortunately there is a lot of post-game material we have to go over, right Jeremy? Yep. And I have to focus on a game that's longer and doesn't focus on post-game. You mean Odyssey? Because yeah. that's wrong and you know it because well, Odyssey's not after this game. Well yeah, Odyssey is during this game, that's right. <laughs> And to be fair, Odyssey is a long game too, but I want to finish that before the summer ends, because like after this game, I just want to marathon that game. If we can, considering your phone. And like, Odyssey is kind of a long game. Anyways, there's a secret down here, but you know, you gotta blow stuff up and wait. Well, luckily we have, oh, dang it. Uh, Susie, you know how to do stuff, right? Thanks. See, Jeremy, and you said she wasn't useful. Uh, okay, now she kind of is. Uh, okay. That, yeah, we need, we need stone. <laughs> this is probably where, um, where the puzzle piece is. But, you know, we're not going to get that right now. Yeah, don't worry, Jeremy, I'm watching that. Oh, there it is. But I kind of like my team right now, so... Also, thanks for jumping over me instead of hitting me, friend. The soundtrack is so... This sounds like a Mega Man X tune. And I love that. Okay, now this sounds like a Kirby tune. Ow. Get used to getting hit. Especially in the, especially in the post-game. Uh, we can't get down there, we need rock. But then again, do we really need to do this? Oh yeah, choo-choo. Or not. <laughs> Dang it. That really hurt. <laughs> choo-choo! Hey! The boys are back! Thanks, Taranza. How about you use your Sectonia? Does he summon Sectonia from the grave to do that? Oh, Kawasaki. I keep thinking this is Smash. Yeah, we just played Smash like right before this. This doesn't help. <laughs> we'll have to play some Smash. Hold up. I'm taking you in. Everyone in the pot. If you have everyone in the pot, you will actually attack your enemies, believe it or not. This actually hurts. 
Like, say if I did this during a boss fight, it hurt. But, because we're not doing the boss fight right now. Hold up. Nothing over it? Okay. Let's go. We should almost be done with the level. I just say that because honestly... Oh yeah, we're almost done with the level, by the way. It's just that this part of the level is, uh... can get kind of dicey. Oh, Jeremy, we have to record Cruiser already, don't we? Oh, great, yeah. <laughs> you're getting ready for the keyboard. I don't want to use the keyboard. Does Exonica go back? I don't know. Come, come, run! Run, Waddle run! And I kind of don't want to find out. What, you don't want, you, what, you don't want to play Exotica? Didn't that game get the best reviews? What was that world, to be honest? I don't know anymore. Run! Oh yeah, we have to fight, uh... No, never mind, that's someone else. That's a weird way to put the exit, to be honest. But that's just me. How many minutes do we have? Eleven. Oh, oh, Susie, Susie, Susie. What, you don't like your partner in crime right now? <laughs> Especially when I get a four. That's your fault, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Amazing Mirror, like we were talking earlier with me and Jeremy, like, the game, um, uh, the game, the problem is it's, it's on the, um, the Game Boy event. So if, if it was, like, on the 3DS or something, or on the Switch, then, like, the game would be gold. Oh, we have to go to Sizzly Moon, if I read that right. We didn't get the button, by the way, which we kind of really don't need. We're gonna go there anyways, in post-game. <laughs> anyways, here we are! Really? Sorry. What the heck, you can give me lightning? That's cool. Actually, I think lightning is, is the, um... Is the, uh, elemental weakness for the boss here. Spoiler alert, there's a boss. We're going to trade a Pokemon. Wait, why is that? Weaknesses. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, did you say that now? <laughs> also, I love the concept for this level. You hit, <laughs> you hit switches and like you just have to go up here and climb up. It's pretty cool. And also you have this rocking soundtrack. And we're pretty much at the boss. <laughs> they gave up. <laughs> no. 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 Everyone, health up and go inside. Alright, it's boss time, and since we went on an ice planet and we fought Francesca, obviously, this is going to be a fire planet with. you know who. This girl. Who. I can't pronounce her name right. Who would have thought my search for the Jamba Heart pieces? Will lead me back to you and your puffery. This must be a, the fiery flames of late at work. Oh yeah, my flames and I are fully stocked now. Beware, you puny pink pest. In the name of Lord Highness, I'll turn you into a burning ball of meddlesomeness. <laughs> All right, rematch with Flamebird. She's supposed to be looking for the dark hearts, but Flamebird has found her way to, to a nice, toasty spot and is taking a bit of a break. Hold up. Ah, I messed up. I messed up. That's my fault. She'd like to invite Francesca to join her, but she worries that she might melt in the heat. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Flamebird, and hopefully I picked the right elemental weakness, and judging by her getting destroyed right now, we did. You know, unfortunately I don't have... I don't have any ability though, so... Ow, 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 ow. Hey, so I never thought of what her name was based off until I... I, I'm using Susie. <laughs> I'm using Susie, who ironically has the water ability. Hit her enough times before she can get this off. There you go. Now we can finish her off. I did nothing in that boss fight. That's alright. And she's blasting off again.
How many minutes have we got? Fifteen. <laughs> and we're at the final, final two stages. <laughs> okay, and we only have one piece. Okay, that's all right. I'll show you guys all the pictures later. And because we went through each level, you have to beat every level, by the way. You can't just skip to the end and be like, woo! I mean, you can do it any order you want, but still, don't do that. Because you kind of need to do this. Anyways, here we go. We destroyed the force field, and now we can head inside. So, Flame Burge is, um... Really? A kind of two-handed sword. Which makes sense, considering how she was using that. It's also called a flame blade sword. Jambandra face. Now this song it, it is really good. But we'll see you guys next time for it. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. What?